Hi, I'm here with Fred Arnold, who is the branch manager of American Family Funding, the premier mortgage lender in the Santa Clarita Valley. Thank and, you, and, and beyond. Thank you. And today we'd like to talk a little bit about credit. So, Fred, someone wants to buy a home, mm -hmm. or is considering buying a home. Yes. They're researching this on Google, and they think that they don't qualify because of their credit. So their, their source of expertise is Google. What would you say to that individual? Well, they say that, what, 50% of the stuff on the internet is accurate. So be careful, 60%, whatever the, the, right. the, the right. common is. Um, it's important you get information from a good mortgage professional when it comes to buying a house. So most qualified mortgage professionals would have the information that you need to, to improve your credit score to make it better and better and better. But a couple tricks of the trade is... Go in and get a, uh, have your credit run. Have your credit run with your mortgage professional to get pre-approved. And the reason why that's critical is we can get a mortgage, FICO, Beacon, the different scores the different bureaus have. Right. So you can see how high it is because your FICO score, your Beacon score, these scores determine the interest rate you're going to pay over the life of the loan. So a couple tricks to the trade. Number one is don't max out your credit. Suppose you have $10,000 in available credit, but you owe $8,000. That's 80%. That's quite a bit. Right. Try to lower it to 50% or less. They right. like you to owe 50% or less on your credit cards of what your allowable limit is. Another one is don't pile all your debt on one card. That balance transfer, problem is you might max out that card. You're better off spreading it to several sure. cards if you can. Uh, another one, Phil, is be careful about the 10% off. Here, we'll give you a finance company credit. The reason why is typically it's a finance company where they're not, which are not looked as favorable as, let's say, a, a big bank or credit union card or a big financial institution. Number two, um, if you're going to buy $4,000 in furniture, they give you a limit of four or $5,000, which means you're already maxed out on that card to begin with. Right. That happens sometimes. So those are two things you have to be careful. And of course, there's a new inquiry on new credit and new debt. Um, so those are two things to look at. Shopping for a car loan, no problem. Try to shop within a confined period, maybe a week or two, because each inquiry that each dealership takes is just one inquiry if it's within a specific, specified time frame. So there's all kinds of things you could do. Um, don't get rid of old cards. Old cards, sometimes that longevity of having a card for 20 years shows that you're responsible. So if you get rid of all your old cards and they're all new cards, that longevity is gone when it comes to your score. Also remember that the score has no memory. It doesn't have any memory. So if your credit score is, let's say, 680 today, you pay down some debts and it updates, it might be 720 a week or two or three from now. So you can definitely improve that score and make sure you get information from a trained professional so you can improve your score and improve your odds of getting a better interest rate and qualifying for that loan. Very good. Well, and of course, once you open escrow, hmm. is it a good time to buy a car? Or yeah, it's a bad it? time. Yeah. You know that 60, 68 cat, pink Cadillac you wanted to buy? No, no. You yeah. might want to hold off. Yeah. Um, just like you don't want to quit your day job when it comes to buying a, buying a car and being, right. being a, a ninja. Right. That's one right. of the jokes, right? Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> yes. You want to make sure you keep your job and you want to make sure you... Uh, you don't buy any, have any new credit. And if you do get some, tell your mortgage professional immediately because he has to disclose it to the underwriter. Okay, all right, very good. So Fred, if, if somebody wants to learn more about whether they qualify, pre-qualify for a loan and what their credit standing is, how would they get in touch with you? Yeah, give uh, mortgage, your mortgage professional ourselves a call, 661-284-1150, 661-284-1150. Or affloans.com to find us on the web. Um, so, Phil, thanks for, thanks for having me. Hey, can you tell Joey your partner I said hi? I will. I yeah. will. Hi, yeah. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.